Hello, this is Gareth Thomas of Keysight Technologies. Here we have a demonstration on how to reduce analysis time for electronic warfare threat signals using a multi-channel streaming radar recorder with pulse descriptor word scoring in real time. Validation is important not only to give you confidence that the platform is going to perform as expected, but also because the availability of reprogramming time is limited by the test labs being in constant use. So if you've booked in a slot for your validation and you miss that spot, you're going to have to get back in line and that delays your program. Also, testing is expensive. Uh, outdoor range is vastly more expensive than doing indoor simulation. So if your technicians can ensure they've accurately captured the pulse radar signals of interest and your analysts can quickly validate their system under test, then that hugely reduces the cost of test if they can run that sim as an indoor simulation. To address these challenges, Keysight has combined commercial off-the-shelf hardware with advanced software that allows real-time recording of wideband signals with analysis in the RF IQ domain and also in the PDW or Pulse Descriptor Word domain, allowing PDW extraction and scoring in real-time. So you can use this capability for validating your uh, emitters and also for validating any jammer capability that you are developing. Here is a screenshot of the real-time scoring feature. Each row represents one sampling interval, in this case, every half second. The frequency, power, pulse, and pulse interval attributes are displayed and compared within tolerances, the colored columns summarizing the scoring results for each attribute. Here's a quick demonstration of the scoring in action where we can see the green and red passes and failures in the real time scoring scenario. On the analysis side, this is the interface for the PDW browser, the primary portal for pulse analysis. The top window with a solid blue bar is high level graphing with a histogram count of all the pulses over the entire recording period. The graph window below it shows a zoomed in view over a shorter period of time, and here the Y axis is power. Both windows can be directly manipulated by the user, and the table below shows the pulse attributes for the pulses visible in the detailed window. The pulses shown can be filtered by any attribute, including comparison criteria. The columns displayed are also configurable. For more advanced pulse analysis in the RF and IQ domain, it is possible to port the data across to our Pathwave Spectrum Analyzer, which has a host of uh, in-depth analysis capabilities, uh, time, frequency, modulation, phase, etc. Let's take a look at PDW browsing. Here we can see the overall PDW browser and we can click on the VSA checkbox to launch our pathway vector signal analysis software. And this gets us into a more advanced measurement display going from the PDW domain into the IQ or in phase and quadrature domain. Now we can see the VSA software as well as our PDW profile. And then when we hit pl the play button for our recording, um, the 10 different pulses show in our VSA measurement window. And from here, we can go for deeper analysis on the RF pulse profile. So here we have a highly scalable set of capabilities from Keysight that really help you accelerate and streamline the validation of your threat simulation libraries. So we've got advanced pulse signals recording and analysis for your radar and EW systems. You can use this for uh, validating your threat simulation signals and also to witness recording of your electronic attack systems uh, outputs. And this is all based around commercial off the shelf components with real time digitizers streaming mass storage with hundreds of terabytes of capacity, FPGA-based signal processing, and also uh, agile signal generation if you need to reproduce those signals in the lab. For more information, visit keysight.com.